Hi guys, so we're going to do some writing in English today. I want you to use the Google slide below to write a give thanks acrostic poem. Now an acrostic poem is a poem that goes up and down and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So it says watch the video below to see how to do it and you'll see a video right here once I'm done making it. Okay, so here is the acrostic poem. Is give thanks pretty cool so what I want you to do is this is a text box and I want you to write a sentence um, that has to do with a T okay for Thanksgiving so maybe uh, your sentence is um, uh, giving it doesn't even have to be a complete sentence so giving thanks to the turkey we are going to eat is always part of our Thanksgiving Day celebration. Uh, let's not say celebration. Let's say Thanksgiving Day um, prayer. Okay. So that might be what we do, and I see that I've messed up there, so I'm going to change the word Thanksgiving. Okay, make sure it has punctuation, all right? And then something with an H, and you can see, and you go down through, okay? So you can even use just the word Thanksgiving. What Thanksgiving means to me is it can be anything, okay? Now, something else I want you to do is watch. I'm going to highlight. See how I do that? I can make it bold. I can make it italicized, and I can change the colors. If you're going to change the color, um, make sure it's not light yellow because, look, it's very hard to read. Do you see that? And we don't want it to be hard to read. Okay, so I'm going to change the color here back, and I'm going to make it bright red this time. Okay, so there's one. Something else you can do, watch, I'm going to highlight. And I'm going to increase the size. They can't make it too big. But boy, that looks pretty good. And I might, I can see now that I need to change something else. Watch this. I need to change uh, to a capital D, Thanksgiving Day Prayer. Or maybe I will change, you can change prayer and say celebration. It's your pick. Okay. Um, so I want you to make it and I want you to change your size and your and your bold and your color, but you can even change the style. So remember that each time you do it, you have to click hold, drag across and highlight, and then watch, I can click here and you can make it different, okay, fonts. As long as you can read it, I'm fine with whatever you decide to pick, okay? Now if it gets too small, guess what you can do? Uh-huh, you can make it bigger again, okay? So that's something. Make each one of these boxes a different color size theme. So my next one with the H, you know, maybe it talks about hats. Maybe you want to talk about hands, praying hands or thankful hands. Um, so come up with a sentence, okay? And notice I have a T here. So I want to take and highlight T, okay? And I want to do something special with it. Maybe I want to underline those. Anything that in the sentence that has a T, because here's my T. So I'm going to underline that. Maybe the next time when I write a sentence, I want to highlight it. Right here's a highlighter. So I want you to play around with this, okay? And give it some, give it some thought as you go, all right? And I'll be curious to see what you have. I really want you to finish this, all right? This is important to me and hopefully to you because I love to read your sentences. So start with a capital, end with punctuation, and make sure your sentence makes sense. The three things for third graders, capitalization, punctuation, does it make sense? So giving thanks to the turkey. Ooh, there's another one, T for turkey. I'm gonna highlight and underline. Okay, so I have three T's in there. You don't have to have three of that letter. You might have one, you might have more than one, but you get the idea, okay? When you're done, you don't have to save it, but if you want to share it with me, click share, and you know how to sh send it to me, and uh, that would be great. I would love it if you shared it with me. All right, miss you guys so much. Talk to you soon. Have a happy Thanksgiving.